Well, it's good to be here this morning and to talk to the boys and girls and all the others here because I'm sure we all like Easter and uh, we like what goes on. Um, I was telling uh, the Reverend McLaughlin about this little illustration that I had seen in the past and he said, well, why don't you do it? And uh, just as a um, the leader of Project Evangelism that I was involved with used to say, he that gets the vision gets the job. <laughs> so I've got the job this morning. Um, this is the Easter weekend and uh, our church uh, celebrates uh, the, the very first Good Friday. And of course, we also remember the resurrection, which is whenever the Lord Jesus Christ was risen from the dead. So we're going to borrow the Reverend McLaughlin's wee time machine this morning, and we're going to go back in time. Uh, you know, the, first, the Christians in the first century, uh, they celebrated this time of year as well. Uh, and it was very hard for them because they were persecuted and they had to meet in secret. And one of the things that they used, uh, it's not an egg, but it's a fish. I'm sure you, you're glad that they changed to chocolate because you wouldn't want to be using a fish at Easter <laughs> unless it was a chocolate fish. But the Christians in the early times used this sign, the sign of the fish. You've maybe seen Christians wear the little fish on their uh, collar. And the reason they do that, that's the Greek word for fish, which is ichthus. And uh, we use um, synonyms and uh, things like DIY, which is do it yourself, and ASAP, as soon as possible, and LOL, laughing out loud, and things like that. Well, the early Christians used this ichthus because if you take the, the first letter of each of those, uh, it means Jesus Christ, God's Son, Savior. And that's how they used that word because it uh, spelt that out. And so they would uh, put this little sign on places where they were meeting. Uh, they would make that sign to each other. You've maybe seen uh, ministers, predominantly in the, the Church of Ireland, they would pray and they would cross their fingers like that, and that would be the sign of the fish whenever they're blessing. And uh, that was the sign that uh, the early Christians used. So they used the fish, but they also used the egg. And uh, this one's not red. They used to take eggs and they would paint them red because they took that the, the tomb, the shell was the tomb, and they painted it red because that was representing the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. And of course, whenever the egg brings forth a chick, it brings forth new life. And so they used the egg for uh, a representation of that. So what uh, else do we do? We have Easter eggs these days, and I used to love whenever they were giving out eggs, uh, my aunts and uncles and things like that. And I used to like getting one with a mug. Does anyone remember getting an egg with a mug? And uh, this one's after eight. And uh, then there's this little egg cup, quite a small egg. You don't want too many of those. <laughs> you prefer the mugs, wouldn't you? Uh, so those were things that we put eggs in. But I have uh, two eggs here this morning. And they're in these boxes. Now, they look very similar, don't they? They're, they're both made by Cadbury's. Uh, they both contain chocolate buttons. Uh, they're in a similar type of box. They're nicely dressed up. And of course, these days, it says their sustainably sourced coca is used. So isn't that good of them to use that uh, today? So they are very similar, and it would be very hard to tell any difference uh, in them. And so this morning, you know, whenever we come in, we look all the same. We've got two arms, two legs, two eyes. We all look quite similar, but there's usually something quite different amongst us. And uh, I wonder, can anybody guess what might be different between these two eggs? Because they're supposed to contain chocolate buttons. Does anybody know what the, the difference might be? Sorry? White chocolate? No, no, that's not it. I'll take these out and I'll give them a wee rattle and you might guess then. Mm -hmm. 
One's empty, that's right. Yes, one is empty. Very good. And uh, so those eggs, although they look very similar, although they, they'll probably taste the same, but they have, uh, they're empty. And you know, there was a, a famous French uh, scientist, a mathematician, an inventor, and he said that inside every human, there's a, a God-shaped void that can't be filled by any created thing, but only by God, the creator, through the Lord Jesus Christ. And, you know, <clears throat> we have an empty heart whenever we uh, are born in uh, sin and shaping in iniquity. And uh, we are all sinners in God's sight. But, you know, God says that he can come to us. There was an American professor. He also said that um, this God-shaped void, it's like trying to fill the Grand Canyon with marbles. It's impossible. And, you know, any efforts that uh, humans make to uh, bring this salvation upon themselves, it's uh, impossible. And uh, whenever I got saved, it was through uh, Ephesians 2, verses 8 and 9. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. So salvation is a gift. It's nothing that we can earn. And you know, we can have the Lord Jesus Christ in us. In John 15 and verse 4, he says, Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine, no more can ye, except ye abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. And then in Galatians 2, verse 20, it says, I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. So I trust this morning you've seen the difference between these eggs here. Uh, there's one empty and there's one that has the filling. And are you an empty egg or are you an egg that is full? And I trust this morning that uh, you will have this gift. So I'm just wondering, is there anybody would like a gift? Is there anybody would like a gift? Anybody at all? You'd like a gift, right? Well, here you are, you come and get this gift. All you have to do is ask. There you are. You enjoy that. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. So I trust that you'll remember those uh, little pictures this morning from the Easter egg. Are you an empty egg or are you full? Is the Lord Jesus Christ living in your life and providing you with life eternal?